Hey guys, Spider Games here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to launch nukes even faster, as well as something you may have missed, so stick around. In my previous video, I showed you guys how to get through the silos in detail. Uh, you're going to want to click on the card in the top right corner of your screen right now if you don't know what you're doing. But if you already know what you're doing and you've done this before, you are going to want to watch this video. So, uh, yeah, first you want to hack this computer and turn the turrets on their masters, of course. Now, we're going to make our way to the bio chamber uh, thingamabob. And we don't need to go on the terminals and figure out what we need to do. Of course, uh, we already know what we're doing. So, after we're done with this, you can go ahead and pick up your bio cards um, all over the place. They're on these tables. There's two available. If they're not there for some reason, you'll find them around the barracks. But uh, yeah, we're using Ultraside Armor, by the way. At the end of the video, I will tell you about that. But anyways, we're continuing on. We're going to slide our bio card, and we're going to go on this terminal and fabricate a new bio card for ourselves. And that's going to get us through the uh, next part. But anyways, now we're going to make our way back to the terminals that we saw at the beginning where our waypoints were. And uh, all we got to do is slide our card and make our way through the laser mesh door thing. This next part is very easy and we don't have to worry about doing the reactor at all. But anyways, you're going to want to turn the turrets on the masters once again. And when you go through this door, you're going to make an immediate left turn. I'm approaching the door that we need to lockpick uh, from a weird angle. Uh, don't worry about it. Just turn left, like I said, and it's going to be on your left. But we only have to worry about that one turret. The rest don't have an angle on us. Let them keep shooting the robots and distracting them because we need to lockpick. By the way, this is a skill 3 locked door. You're going to need pick lock three unlocked but uh yeah when we enter this room we're gonna need to get on this terminal but first we need to destroy these two turrets and after that we can go ahead and hack this we need hack three unlocked of course um, and we're gonna go ahead and go through this but anyways this computer wasn't working for me the other time I tried this it didn't give me the option to bypass the reactor I don't know why that is it must be a bug um, it happens to me later and I'll show you but anyways we're gonna go ahead and confirm and we don't have to worry about the reactor that whole mess is uh, in the rear view now we can continue through this door and we're gonna come to the part where we need to destroy all these cores first turn the turrets on their masters of course and then we're going to use grenades and throw these grenades right in front of the consoles where the cores are do not throw them too close or else they won't destroy the cores you want them right in front where it can spray all over all the cores anyways we are going to throw a grenade down there that's the core area that's a real pain in the ass all we gotta do is pop a grenade down there no worries we don't have to worry about the turrets anyways but, uh, yeah, of course there's an asshole giving me shit. Uh, I don't have to worry about him, though. I can just throw grenades, which is very convenient. He's around all these cores. I need to pop these grenades over there. By the way, the cores, they go all around the room. Um, so, yeah, that's where you find them. You're going to see them all over the place. But, yeah, if you have a flamethrower, by the way, I think that would be awesome here. Um, the cores are very weak, and I'm guessing that flamethrower would easily destroy them. However, I think grenade or grenade launcher would be more effective, honestly, with 40 millimeter grenades. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we're in the next part. We're gonna lock pick this door again. We need lock pick three unlocked or pick lock. I always fuck that up. But now we're hacking this computer, which only needs uh, skill one uh, hacking. And uh, yeah, we have hacked all the turrets in this room. But this is where the bug happened to me again. I wasn't given the option to actually turn the turrets on the robots. And uh, luckily, I had unlocked uh, Robotics Expert, and I was able to hack some of the robots just to get them off my ass. Now, Robotics Expert is real nifty. Um, if you have all three unlocked, you can hack the robots most of the time. It's 75% of the time. But uh, yeah, you can see me using it on that dude back there. But we need to repair these cores. And this is why we want to have a bunch of circuits and steel. We need 90 steel to be exact and 30 circuits um, for scrap. And uh, we can repair all the cores. We don't have to hunt them down in this room. And by the way, you're going to want to block that door with your power armor just so that robots don't come up on your ass. Now we repair these and this makes this part very easy. We can get through this very quick. If for some reason you weren't given the option to actually turn the turrets on the robots for some reason, you can go ahead and hack them as long as you got Robotics 3 unlocked. But uh, yeah, it actually came in handy this time. 
Um, I'm sure it will help in some ways just to shave off some time. We are at the control room now. We only have to hack one more terminal and this one is the most helpful. Um, you want to turn the turrets against the robots one last time. By the way, up these stairs, that door opens when we are ready to launch. But anyways, yeah, the turrets are going to keep the robots busy and we can uh, go ahead and protect our chiefs. Um, they actually don't need that much protecting when you have the turrets distracting the robots. But anyways, look at this, a loot room. Can you believe it? Um, I'm sure some of you already know about this, but I didn't. A lot of people didn't. Um, I thought that was cool. I didn't get much out of it. But anyways, we are going to insert our nuclear key card. And by the way, if you launch from this site within this week before the codes actually expired, you don't have to type in the code again. Uh, all we have to do is put in the card and we can go ahead and launch. And that's the fastest way I know how to do this without using glitches. You can use the power armor glitch, which I'm going to show you how to do in my uh, video I'm posting tomorrow on the ultrasight armor, as well as power armor locations and stuff. But anyways, yeah, we launched a nuke. We are good to go. I think we could do this within 10 to 15 minutes uh, using all that stuff. And to leave, we can go out this tunnel, which is through the loot room, by the way. Yeah. But that's it guys, that's how you launch super fast, that's how you get through the silo. The silo is the most pain in the ass part anyways, uh, besides tracking down codes and all that crap. But uh, yeah, it was very easy for me to get through this using hacking and uh, robotics expert grenades, uh, having circuits and steel scrap for repairing the cores. But in tomorrow's video, I'm going to show you more locations on armor. Today, I'm going to dedicate myself and uh, go ahead and find more power armor locations. I want to find, like, I have 8 found. I want to find 12 more so that I can put another video out there showing 20 uh, locations. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. I hope you found it informative. If you did, leave a like. That helps out tremendously. You guys have been helping me out with that a lot lately. My channel is doing really good thanks to you guys. And subscribe for future videos. And as always, I will see you in the next video.